Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm finally getting around to trying something that I've wanted to try for a while. I um, got my laser printer back during spring break, and I've always wanted to try foiling. You can't do this with an inkjet, and there are some other methods um, that you can try. I didn't really want to start out with foiling trying those other methods I wanted to try the one that worked the best first and then I'll experiment with other ones later and I'll leave a link below to a video where um, I think it's her name is Jennifer McGuire she goes through all of the different ways that you can do foiling yourself but I'm using what seems to be the most widely used method and that is using a laser printer to print your design then you place the foil on it and run it through the laminator so I just I just did this this bow pattern is a freebie um, well it is a version of a freebie that's available in my Facebook group and so I just printed it on black cardstock ran it through my laser printer printed the pattern on here and then I put the here it is the foil on the paper and then I just put a thin piece of cardstock over it just to kind of protect the um, the foil sheet and my laminator which I'm not sure that I needed this but I just did it just for that added, added bit of protection and this is just a thin piece of copy paper so anyway and it turned out great and like I said I went through the whole process in my insta story so if you don't follow me on Instagram go ahead and follow me over there too because Sometimes I just want to, you know, hurry up and get something done and I'm not in a place where I can record a video for it. So you can catch first looks at things that I'm working on over on my Instagram. So what I've done now is this is a freebie printable that's available on my website at scrapcraftastic.com. Um, I've kind of moved things around and aligned this up. I printed the design on here. Now I'm thinking that I would just cut my stickers first, run it through the silhouette, then come back and do the foiling. Only because these registration marks, um, I don't want them to get mixed up with the foiling. And I hope this works this way um, because I know if any of that gets on the registration marks, my silhouette is not going to read it properly. So I'm going to just... My desk is I'm just going to go ahead and run this through my silhouette first. Okay, so here is my kiss cut sheet. I'm just checking to make sure that it did cut correctly. Uh, for the most part it did. Now I'm going to put the foil on. So here is the foil that I'm using. This is um, Heidi Swap for, uh, I guess it's the mink. I don't have a mink, so I'm going to do it this way. And basically, I'm just going to pull out a piece or cut off a piece to cover my, the area that I want foil. And I'm just going to trim it off. Probably should have used my good scissors for this or a blade, but so I've already been warming up my laminator and I'm not going to cut off the excess of the end. And I hope this is okay for this sticker paper to go through here. This is laser um, printable sticker paper, so it should tolerate the heat we'll see let's put that up and then again I'm gonna just put a piece of thin copy paper over the top just out of an abundance of caution and I'm going to run it through the laminator now, I'm not really sure how well this one is going to work because there are lots of grays on this um, on this freebie, I'm thinking it should still cling to any place that the toner is, but we will see. And now I cannot wait to play around with this technique 
on so many other things, so many other projects. And I really think it turns out great on this black cardstock. I think like a gold, a rose gold would be perfect for this. And then you could use this for making cards, just dashboards for your traveler's notebook or your planner, dividers, tab dividers. You could do die cuts. It's just possibilities, possibilities. Now, I'm not too sure how this one's going to turn out, but see. Oh, yes. Look at that. Wow. That is incredible. Okay. So, ew, this works so good. Look at that. Guess who's going to be designing some more black and white things? This is awesome. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to pop on today and show you how to do this. And I'm amazed myself. But even if you don't have a silhouette, you print your stickers on sticker paper or you print them on regular paper, you can still do the same technique as long as you're printing with a laser printer and you have a laminator. It will work for you. So I guess that's it for now. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.